Okay. Spreadsheet software has rows and columns of numbers to create a model or representation of a real solution just like as what you can see in this figure we have an espresso which is entered um, using the open office okay so this spreadsheet software um, is produced by op open office where it provides different features to work on our data Okay, as same as with document production software like MS Word, we have different sets of ribbons here where each ribbon um, has different group of commands. Okay, where you can format the content, the style, the formula. Okay, like here, these are the values that can be used for calculations. And these are the labels, such as uh, projected, the uh, income, identify the data. And this pointed cell here is called cell A1. And this is the, this cell A1 is the intersection between the column A and row 1. And the active cell which is shown in this figure is P11, okay? It has a rectangular uh, form which shows that this cell is active where you can enter your data, okay? Then uh, when a cell contains formula, it displays the result of the formula rather than the formula itself okay to view and edit the formula you can use the formula bar just like as you can see in this figure and the active cell is b5 showing the result after um, calculating b4 minus b5 okay you cannot see directly the formula used in an active cell or in a particular cell unless you are going to um, click the cell and view the formula in the formula bar or if you want to view all the formulas being used in a particular worksheet you can just go to control tilde okay are you familiar with the tilde key Okay, this um, keyboard key right, I mean, above the tab key. Okay, you can just press Control Tilde simultaneously. Okay, later on we will have a demonstration of that. Okay, and also a formula tells the computer how to use the contents of cells in calculations. And... We have cell references where relative and absolute cell references can be used. Okay. You can use formula also for mathematical operators, for functions and automatic recalculations. And these are the built-in functions in Excel. We have sum, average, if, hyperlink count, uh, max, mean and others which are not shown in this figure, okay? Uh, pivot table, okay, and others, okay? So in this example, relative references within a formula can change when you change the sequence of worksheets, rows and columns, and an absolute reference is anchored so that it always refers to a specific cell. Just like if you want to stick the formula on that particular cell, you can just add the um, absolute cell reference. Okay? All right. Okay, now before we'll go to the number crunching software. Okay, let's have a quick demo. Okay, I will be opening an Excel 
2016. Okay. Let's just wait for a while. All right. So we have here a new blank worksheet. If for example, we will have to tally our daily expenses. If for example, um, okay, for our for our daily expenses, for example, um, meal. Okay, load. <coughs> Uh, hmm. For example, you have the transpo allowance okay, for a particular day. Okay, transportation, meal allowance, load allowance, transportation allowance. Um, what else? Okay, so for example, we'll have others. And... Your meal is, for example, 100 and your load is 20 tipid. Okay, transportation, for example, uh, since the ulra, okay, for example, 30. And others, say, for example, 50. Okay. And here, okay, we can get the total. Okay, so to get the total, you can just use the formula. Okay, you can just use the sum or okay, you can just use this um, auto sum from the group of editing command here. Okay, or you can just enter the formula name. And a function name and started with the equal sign okay so in a spreadsheet software upon entering the formula you must have to first enter the equal sign to calculate okay equal sum and with a pair of open and I mean with a pair of parentheses inside the parentheses um, are the cells and or the range of cells where you can get the data to be calculated. So, for example, from B2 up to B5, you can just click and hold the left key and drag it down. And we have here B2 colon B5, meaning we have the range of cells starting from B2 up to B5. To get the sum okay and upon pressing enter it will auto complete the remaining characters and calculate the total is 200 now okay uh, you can just use this button from here okay so for example we have to delete this one okay just select the cell where you're going to show the result then just click this auto sum to um, get the sum of these numbers or if you want to view the other functions you can just press this drop down button and you have sum average count numbers max mean and just click on more functions to view the other functions okay the other built-in functions in excel okay all right and now i will just use the sum okay right now you can just Get also the minimum. So, for example, 
the minimum amount from my uh, particulars of daily expenses must be reflected in B7. I just click on this one, then get the mean. Okay. Take note that in using this button, the, the, it will automatically select the range of cells okay, from B2 up to B6. So, na-appeal ang total na cell. You just have to make some adjustments. Okay? Na dili ma-include ang total. Alright? Although, in getting the minimum, dili gid ma-appeal ang total for your result. Okay, dili mahi, dili jud uh, mugawas nga ang total may mahimong minimum since ika nga it's a total. Okay? But it's it, it, um, I mean logically not correct to include the total value in getting the minimum value of your expenses. Diba? So, you need to adjust from B6, okay, that ranges from B2 up to B5, then enter. Okay, so we have the minimum value of 20, okay, or maximum equals max, you can just enter directly, and point, okay, click the starting cell from B2, then enter colon B5. Okay, then hit enter. So, this is the maximum value. Now, okay, if you want to get the average, okay, equals average. Okay, and also Excel has an intelligence feature where upon entering the first few letters of the formula, it will display the related, I mean, um, the, the, it will display some of the functions having the same name, okay, with the first few letters, just like entering over, it displays average, average A, average if, okay. For example, I'll just select this average A. You can just um, double click on this one or you can just press tab to select the highlighted formula. Okay, so average from B2 to B5. Enter. All right. Okay. Now, um, for example, for example, um, I need to get, okay, I need to save 20% of each of the expenses, okay, so for example, for meal, I need to save 20% from my meal allowance and it will go to my savings account. Okay, kumbaga. Since we need to anchor 20% to all of the expenses, so we need to make this one as absolute. So it will stick the formula to C1. Okay? So, to make it absolute, you can just click on C1. I mean, you can just position the pointer or the cursor to C1 and press F4. So, as you can see, 
There are dollar signs of C1. So, A dollar, C dollar 1. So, it is now absolute to C1. Press enter. And when you copy the formula to the other cell, you can just use this fill handle, the, the very tiny um, square right below, I mean, the that is placed at the, uh, this one, okay? lower right portion of your active cell you can just hover when you hover it it will the the mouse pointer will turn into a cross like hair just hold the left key and drag it down and it automatically get the formula of using the um Absolute cell reference of 20% for each of the amount of your expenses. Okay? Just like the 20% of 20 is 4, the um, 6 is the 20% of 30. But, only the B, I mean the C1, maoy iyahanggi. Gamitan og absolute cell reference since it is intended to get the 20% for each of the daily allowances or daily expenses. Okay, but the first um, operand are the values for the for each of the um, daily expenses. Okay, and automatically, ni adjust rasad siya upon using the fill handle. Okay? So, that is the relative references and the absolute cell references. Okay? Nakuhara? All right. So, now you can get the total, minimum, maximum, and average. Okay, so for example, you're just going to copy these formulas to here. So, you can just select these cells and copy the formula using the fill handle. Just drag to the right. Okay, and review the formula. Okay. Now, since you have all the formulas here, to view all the formulas um, entered from B6 up to C9, you can just press the control tilde simultaneously. Okay, control tilde. This button um, right above the tab key. Control tilde. Okay. So, pabalik to the normal view, you can just press the control tilde again. Okay? Now, let's proceed. We have the number crunching software which provides a structured environment dedicated to a particular numbing, a number uh, crunching task. Okay? They will be used for statistical software, mathematical modeling, money management software, tax preparation softwares. We have different number crunching softwares used um, in like SAP, okay, used by the management people, okay. Now, the database software is used for recording your data, okay. And the database is a collection of data where our data are being saved in the records, diba? Right? They use the database software for saving our data, okay? It helps us enter, find, uh, organize, update, uh, 
report information stored in a database. Just like here, um, a single database record is similar to a Rotodex card or Rolodex card, an index card. Okay, just like for each of the index card, it contains our records. So a series of records is usually depicted in a table format. Okay, just like this, we have the um, column fields here. Like if you have the table of which contains your records of songs. We have the song title, performer, the composer. Okay. Um, CD, the date created, uh, label, and the length of the song. Okay. So, in Office applications, we have MS Access as our database software. All right. So, database software provides tools for specifying fields for a series of records. So, upon creating a table in the database, you have to specify the field names, which will, which will be entered in this one. Okay. So, you have to specify the field names. Like, these are the labels for each of the columns okay, where the data will be saved. Okay. Then, for each of the field names, you have to specify the type of data. Like, is that a text type? Is that a currency type? Or is that a number type? And you may provide also um, a description for each of the fields. Okay. okay. To show the explanation of the field's contents. If you want to enter any additional information or specification for a particular field, you can just enter it here. And this um, figure shows setting up the table in MS Access database software. Okay. And it uses a query language such as an SQL or the standard query language which provides a set of commands for locating and manipulating data, okay? And they will be used in natural language query and the query by example, okay? Where uh, you can um, view all data, you can view the data according to what? So you can just set some specifications. You can just filter the data by using the SQL language. Okay, now the graphics software help you to create, manipulate, and print graphics. And these are some of the graphics software, the paint software, the photo editing software, drawing, the 3D graphics, CAD, presentation software. Okay. All right, so just like using the software produced by openoffice.org, we have the Impress okay, to um, create a series of slides or you may have the um, PowerPoint presentation produced by Microsoft Office Suite okay, for creating a presentation slides. Now, the music software, which allows you to make your own digital voice, okay, it can edit, okay, we have the audio editing software, the CD, Ripper software, the audio encoding, ear training, notation, computer-aided music software, and the MIDI sequencing software, okay. The video editing software, and DVD authoring software, which usually can be used for your, um, to edit your videos upon or in vlogging, on the 
you are fan of uh, vlogs so before uploading before posting you can just edit your videos and compile your videos using the video editing software okay like transferring video footage from a camcorder to a computer um clipping or trimming some unwanted footage um assembling video segments or organizing the video clips adding special video effects and of course adding some background music to your vlogs to your videos and we have educational and reference software like Encarta. Okay, it will help you to learn and practice new skills. <clears throat> okay, and also it provides a collection of information and a way to access that information. Usually, educational and reference software will be shipped in CD or DVD or maybe can be accessed on a web okay so you can acquire some of those softwares using cd dvd not only this educational and reference software but some just like the office suite software okay now the entertainment software can be used for computer games okay like for sports strategy puzzle simulation okay i know that um maritime department has many simulation softwares that will be used for education okay for simulating the waves that you are in the ship okay now the business software is designed to automate specialized tasks in a specific market or business like we have the payroll the accounting software the project management software and there are many project management software available on the web okay and it can be used to collaborate tasks okay now um how will you buy software Okay, in buying a software, it may come along with the copyrights and licenses, of course. And to install an operating system, okay, some of the operating systems can be bought or can be subscribed. Diba? You, uh, you are going to pay for the subscription for an annual basis, for example. Okay uh -huh. just like if you want to buy a new computer system the operating system is activated through subscription based okay so now she expiry and when you install operating systems there are some handful small applications that are a good variety of useful utility software and these are some of the um, small applications that are installed also upon installing the most operating systems. We have the Internet Explorer, uh, Windows Explorer, WordPad, Notepad, Calculator, Backup, Disk Defragmenter, Firewall, Movie Maker, and Windows Photo Gallery, a okay, Sound Recorder, Paint. Okay, and the other softwares can be acquired from any of the sources, okay, from the web, from the CD or DVD. Now there are software suite, okay, just like the Microsoft Office Professional, okay, that Contains MS Word, MS Excel, Outlook, PowerPoint, Publisher, Access, Accounting Express. Okay, they are a collection of application software sold as a single package. And a package of Adobe Creative Suite, which contains Adobe is, um, Illustrator, Adobe Photoshop, 
in design acrobat professional okay and upon installing the package of software suite okay, naagi hapon siya like recommended installation or customized installation like for customized installation you can just pick some uh, package can be which can be installed that are very useful but if you want to install the okay um all the um, applications that are packed within that package you can just follow the installation procedure okay now uh, different um softwares are sold in many types of stores okay and usually contained on distribution distri uh, i mean distribution media just like cd or dvd or on the web okay and before installing these softwares you have to check the system requirements first at least um it meets the minimum requirements just like upon installing the CAD software the operating systems must be okay, the processor must be the memory the hard disk space the network protocol and the network connection okay and some other these are these are some of the few um, system requirements upon installing the softwares okay you have to check especially when you install um heavy softwares now for the copyright so it's a form of legal protection that grants the author of an original work showing the exclusive rights so it shows it come along with the copyright notice okay and we have different types of licenses. We have single user, site user, multiple user, concurrent, and shrink wrap. Okay, like that is good for single user only. And this license is good for um, group. Like it is good for two. Okay, so you can install uh this software for two devices okay like for site for a multiple user and na ajud na shayula okay before installing any software you must have to agree the end user license agreement okay and it is advisable to read first the end user license agreement okay what are the agreements that are stipulated in the EULA okay, upon ticking the um, check button, you have to agree the agreement man. Okay. And we have different types of software licenses, public domain, proprietary, commercial, demoware, shareware, freeware, open source, BSD, and the GPL. Okay. There are public softwares, okay, proprietary softwares wherein you need to pay, okay, commercial software, okay, public domain meaning walay, walang, it's available for the public. All right, so now, what are the um, softwares that you have already installed? on your computer system and on your smartphones okay there are times that you need to update your software diba okay now for that okay, i will give you um time to share your experience on how did you install your software okay you can just briefly describe it and share your experience on the lms 